Hassan. Uh, Anjali Daimari is the founder of the Bodo, in, the Bodo Women's Justice Forum, and she was uh, she's a Scientia Academy Award. Thank you so much, Anjali, for joining us. coming from different countries. First of all, I bring greetings from the people of Assam. Secondly, I would like to thank the APNEA for inviting me in this Congress. It is my privilege to be here in this very special conference where we are getting opportunity to speak for ourselves, for women, for girls. I really like and embrace the motto of Apnea, that is, last girl first. It reminds me of the traditional belief and saying of my community, that is, Boro community. It says, Unjanaya Agelja, Agelja Unja. It means, who are in the first will be in the last, and who are in the last will be in the first. Similarly, the last girl will be in first, I believe. Girls are precious, girls are wealth, girls are our home, future, our strength. Without women and girls, there cannot be family, there cannot be society, there cannot be culture, tradition, or customs. Then why women and girls are neglected? Why women are treated as commodity? Can we think of selling our home, family, society? Can we sell our culture, tradition, customs? We cannot sell them, and nobody would do that. Then why are women and girls are being sold? How is it possible? How can we destroy our own home, our own family, society, culture, traditions, or customs? In India, Assam, the state I belong, has got highest number of crime related to human trafficking. According to NCRB, National Crime Record Bureau, in the year of 2016, 1,449 cases related to human trafficking were registered, and out of these 99 cases were women trafficking. <coughs> The population of Assam is 3.22 crore, and if we see the ratio, Assam has the most high number of cases in the whole country. Ministry of Women and Child Development coming up with legislation to tackle human trafficking as an 